Hello and welcome to a new studio vlog and hello if you are new to the channel here. Today I am going to be concentrating on sublimation printing, in particular my Christmas ornaments. So I thought I'd bring you along to show you how that it's made. With my sublimation printing I do prep that earlier so I'll either do it on my iPad on Procreate or I do it on Illustrator. And then for the best printing results, I convert that page, whatever I've made on JPEG or whatever, to a PDF. And then I print that PDF on my sublimation printer, so that is what I'm going to do now. And then I begin pressing my ornaments, and I use my general heat press for that. So that's what I'm going to be doing today, but first of all, because it's nearly Christmas, I am going to be decorating the office. I have got the help of my sister today, so she's in the studio, so she's going to help me with the orders and she is going to come and help decorate the office so let's get on with the day
The first step is to print my design onto sublimation paper and using an old silhouette cutting mat I create a template that I can trace around my design and then cut out later on and this will help me when it comes to lining up my ornament. Using my flatbed heat press I place my design on the bed of the press with the design facing upwards towards me and then with my ornament with the sublimation coating I place it face down and apply the pressure. Between my large order I've still got to do all my normal orders so for that I've got to print them out and then put them in order so it's mainly when they come in throughout the week or their priority if they've ordered express shipping etc so I will organise that now just whilst my other ornaments are over on the press. I've just come to print the rest of my orders and I have actually run out of paper so I am going to head off to my supplier now. I have just placed an order for some A4 sublimation paper and some cyan ink and so I am going to head to my supplier now and hopefully it won't take too long so I can get back and finish the orders. Once my ornaments are cool enough it is then time to tie the twine so I usually do a batch of them at a time and as soon as they're cool I'll tie them and prep them for them to go in their gift boxes.
It's now quarter past four in the evening. It is quite dark in the studio. I am going to be working over. I have just sent my orders off to the post office and I'm gonna do a few hours in the studio to make sure this order's done. I've done around 30 of the 55 ornaments. So I've got around 25-ish left to do. I will double check some of them and make sure they're perfect before they go. I've also got to arrange for the cards to be made so I'm going to design that this evening just so they can go to print in the morning and arrange a courier. I will be organising a one to three day UPS courier service so that will all be done in the afternoon ready for it to be collected in the later afternoon. And I'm going to go and finish some emails off in between my orders being pressed. Whilst I'm in the studio on my own, I'm always catching up on my favourite YouTube artists. I like to follow illustrators, lettering artists, freelancers, small business owners, so if you've got anyone you recommend, please do let me know in the comments below. I hope you've enjoyed this studio vlog if you have please give it a massive thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one